Hello Tigers and welcome back. We're so excited for the start of the new school year. We know that you've had a great summer and we've missed you, but we're so excited to see you back into our classrooms. So I've got a few important announcements and a few reminders that I'd like to talk to you about today. I've got notes on them so it may take a little bit, but it's very important information. First of all, I want do you know that all students should register online prior to coming back to school? Uh, you don't have to, but it's a great benefit if you do. You can get that information from your local school. You also can find that information on any of our social media on how to do that. So if you do not know how to register online prior to school starting Monday, just call your local school and they'll be glad to help you through that. As we have the past three school years, we're going to start with an alternating schedule where different grade levels will come at different days. This has been a great benefit not only to the students but to the teachers and we hear from the parents also that they've enjoyed this individual attention that each of our students get when we're able to do that. So I'm going to read each schedule for you for next week. Starting Monday, August the 1st, all students will report to their schools. Now this is only a half day and we're going to run buses at 1030. So starting Monday, August the 1st, all students should report to their schools. At Ralph Askins, Tuesday, August the 2nd, will be pre-K and kindergarten boys and all students in second and fourth grades. On Wednesday, August the 3rd, it'll be pre-K and kindergarten girls, all students in first, third and fifth grades. On Thursday, August the 4th, it'll be pre-K boys and all students kindergarten through fifth grade will attend. Then on Friday, August the 5th, it'll be pre-K girls and all students first through fifth grade will attend. If you have questions, please call your schools and we're going to post all this information on all our social media sites. Fayetteville Middle School, here's their schedule. Again, Monday, August the 1st, all students half day. On Tuesday, August the 2nd, it will be 6th through, excuse me, 6th and 8th grade students. On Wednesday, August the 3rd, it will be 7th grade students. And on Thursday, August the 4th, all students will return. Again, that will be posted on social media. At Fayetteville High School, all students on Monday, half a day, then Tuesday, August the 2nd, will be 10th and 12th grades only. Wednesday, August the 3rd, will be 9th and 11th grade students only. And then on Thursday, August the 4th, all Tigers will attend. And then Friday, August the 5th, all Tigers will attend. I know this may sound a little confusing. We hope that that helps though. And if you have any questions, call us or look on any of our social media sites. Have some also pretty exciting announcements, some things that we're really, really proud of. One is that school safety is going to be a huge focus for us this year. You know, we ended last school year with some horrible news that happened in other states. So we're actually going to start the school year for our staff with someone from Homeland Security who is going to come in and talk to our staff about school safety. So understand that's going to be a focus for us for the, the remainder of this school year. And so bear with us and be patient as we implement a few new things, but, all, but we're going to do that so that your students will be safe. We still have COVID, it's still out there, and so we never know when it's going to creep back up. But we want you to know we're going to continue with a healthy environment, and we're going to use a common sense approach when it comes to uh, our students and also those type things. So if you have questions, please feel free to call. We're always open, and we want to make sure that uh, we give you all the information that you want. Another thing that we're super excited about is test scores. They've never been better. We're so excited as they continued to uh, uh, raise and we want to thank the teachers for the hard work that they put in so uh, parents students if you see some teachers congratulate them on the hard work that they put in and students we're proud of the hard work that you put in to raise the test scores so super excited uh, I want to congratulate all three of our schools they are blue ribbon beacon schools that is super exciting for us. Also know that our goal is to have all three schools is to be Blue Ribbon Lighthouse schools. And we are on our way to make that happen. So those are just some 
quick announcements and reminders that I have for you. But the most important thing is we want to see you Monday. Go Tigers.